news will not be smarty the apple so <laughs> so i know say no be the don't speak at all he said apc make mistake oh he said osibanjo would have been a fantastic president not be me talk am oh. not be me not be my mother to say here now the dethroned emir of kanu state he said apc he feel in their he say he share in their pain he said therefore they would have made a better judgment he say but it is what it is he said because uh osibanjo all this one they question left, right, and center. So, therefore, be, there would have been no need to they go to the east or to the west to the one that say where the matter they say because all these things for just settle once and for all. He says so as we they see the matter, so as things they things need to look up, things needs to change. He said because we cannot allow the same thing to happen over and over again and again. Say because Nigeria will change and things will be better. He said, but what they would have done, they made a mistake. They did really make a mistake. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The former Emir of Kano, Senusi Nobidos, has said the Vice President Professor Yemi Sibanjo would have been a fantastic president if he has been given the opportunity. If he was the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, we would not we would not have been where we are today. Nigerians would have taken a proper stand and this whole court cases would have been a thing of the past. We would have been looking forward to the inauguration and knowing that we are hitting the ground and running. APC did make a choice. Late Nigeria report that Sanusi stated this on Monday at the virtual launch of the book Osibanjo Straded Defining Moments of an Innovative Leader. The former Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN governor, said Nigeria lost by not electing Osibanjo as its president and that the country will be worse off for not having someone like him as their leader. He said they made a serious mistake. According to Senussi, Osibanjo was one of the government officials in this country and the current administration willing to debate any matter and yet supersede all judgment and bring Nigeria to a good place. He had so much experience and ideas to help this country. Sanusi, however, expressed hope that the vice president will be available to serve, advise, and put his best for the country in the coming government. He said, and I dare say, we all agree that Nigeria is worse off for not having someone like him or Sibanjo as president. But I do hope that he will be available to serve and to advise and to put his best for the country and to continue to do so. We all know who the right leader should be. So I am sure he will in whatever capacity he finds himself in the future. And maybe we will still be lucky to have him lead us one day. Or Sibanjo is a great model, an elder statesman, a leadership he has a good leadership role and quality we all know but apc has made their choice and they will live with the consequences of what comes out of that the man eh, now deep things now they talk so you know you know fight anybody you oh. know mention tinubu name oh. but he say apc may mistake listen to the statement again he words apc make mistake he said so now see banjo according to ramu now APC peak. He saw this court case for be normal. They say for just end. The youth he said that for all these things where they form, all this way say for, say for say maybe for not happen. He said because you see, now the only person who say he ready to debate any matter, he ready to put things in perspective, he ready to pick, put this nation in the right way. He said not the only person. He said not the only person when he see say for this administration or the old APC, wait for people be the right leader. He said but they but they say they, 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 they made their choice. And what and which your party tell you, which your mother tell you, if you lay your bed, you will lie on it. The way you lay your bed is the way you lie on it. The way you lay your bed is the way you lie on it. So he said, PC made mistake. He said, because from where he's standing, and the truth is that we all know the right thing. It would have been a fantastic candidate for the All Progressive Congress. But some people came out and said, Emil Khan, Emil Khan. Uh, shift, clear the road, and whatever happens, we take it like that. We will swallow the matter like that, we leave it like that. And today, here we are. Court case, left, right, and center, and 
you know, the matter had almost reached ground. We are almost there. We are looking forward, anticipating, you know, the handover and the uh, court case day. We don't say, we say, you can't do this, you can't do that. And so many matters are around the corner. So this is what is happening. And this is why no single person should take things for granted. Nobody. Nobody should take anything for granted because we cannot continue like this. We just can't continue like this. Every single one of us know the truth. Why is Tinubu's, you know, position so contentious? Why is it so contentious? Why is everybody, why are most people saying, oh, we don't think he won, blah, 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 blah. It is because, you know, some people feel that he shouldn't have been there. Some people feel that, you know, some people feel that he would have been in the best position to support, bring on board, rather than him coming there to say he wants to rule. So there are a lot of cases, there are a lot of issues, a lot of matters have happened. And Sanusi Nabido in his own way feel that APC did make a mistake, that they should have chosen somebody who would have represented them better. He feels very strongly that the choice APC has made, they will live with it. If they had made uh, better choices, you know, that they would have been in a better place. Court cases wouldn't have been trailing them few, uh, few uh, days to inauguration. And probably the youth would have believed in APC and it would have been an easy transition and what have you. However, the choice they made is what is hanging on, on them. And he said he hopes, I pray and I did call that one, say in future, you know, Nigeria will have the opportunity of having, according to him, Osibanjo as the president of this country. And he also asked Osibanjo to be there to advise. But again, you see, say the agree take Osibanjo advice. I don't feel so. Personally, I don't think so. Because they don't call Osiba, they don't call our own name, they don't don't want to say a betrayer and what have you. So I not believe, say, they go, they call, call Osiba and just say, call advice, what do you think for this matter? Where you cannot say never, never say never until you reach the end, you never reach the end, until you happen, you never happen. You know, so we go give the, what they call, benefit of a doubt to see how these things will happen. Nigeria and I, here we do, we hope for the best so that we can have the best government and this nation can truly, sincerely move forward. Things will not happen. We don't want the same thing to repeat itself. Nonsense, tired person. Waiting. Waiting. Nonsense, tired person. It is time we begin to advance, set real precedents and move forward so that we can truly get out of this rat race and get the real people who have intention of moving this nation come on board. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.